is that time again it is time for the text platform welcome to the text platform we have another episode today and today we zone in one of the um, topics um, that are known by almost everyone um, when it comes to tax we're going to talk about the tax clearance certificate or exemption um, so this document is normally issued by the commissioner general to show that someone has complied with the requirements of the tax law or expectations of the commissioner general so in terms of law for you to get a tax clearance certificate, your tax affairs has to be in order. That is, you should have filed all returns that are due. You should have made any payment that is due. And of course, that is based on whatever that you submit to them. Or in some certain instances where there is an amount that is owing, you should have a payment plan in place. And that payment plan um, should be adhered to the latter or be complied with. That is why um, in the text clearance, there is a disclaimer that the certificate is valid unless revoked uh, before that time. So normally it's valid for a period of 12 months. And a tax clearance certificate, especially in the context of Botswana, or a tax clearance exemption, <coughs> has its origins um, in the procurement field, especially public procurement. Uh, because at some time, I think around 2005, um there about um those who were tendering in the public procurement were now required to have a tax clearance certificate <coughs> so it's not really of any use when it comes to the tax man and then it has grown to be a recognized documents now generally in any compliance area or any compliance field um, whether you talk about banks or any financial institution whether you talk about uh, those in procurement they're always required as part of the compliance document uh, or know your customer documents in other institutions so it is evolved from just being a procurement document to being a, a compliance document across um, different fields uh, and like I said this can be revoked um, and normally the instances where it's revoked is that um, maybe you wouldn't have filed your returns um, after you are, you are given the tax clearance and it is found that some returns are due or that payments that are due or you had a payment plan in place you had agreed um, with them that you will pay certain amounts uh, within certain periods and you fail um, to honor that promise or that obligation yes so issuance of a tax clearance certificate does not um, negate um, the various uh, obligations that you have or it does not absolve you of the monthly or quarterly or annual obligations that you have of making certain payments whether it's pay as you earn other withholding tax evaluated tax even income tax so you need to ensure that um, every month you check or regularly every week to check if all your tax affairs are in order such that it is easier also to renew the tax clearance um, certificate um, when it expires at the end of 12 months. So the tax clearance certificate or exemption is not the ultimate tax obligation because most people believe that when they have a tax clearance certificate, 
then they don't want to have to worry about everything because a sex tax clearance certificate shows that one is compliant but it only shows compliance at the point in time when you were submitting uh, the application and that application is approved it shows that at that time when you made the application you were compliant so between the 12 months you also need to ensure that you remain compliant if there are returns to file you file them if there are payments to may be made you make those payments and uh, an exemption normally applies to non-resident companies that are not registered here so for those for procurement purposes they will be required to get an exemption from bears and normally administratively bears will, will require a tax clearance certificate from that company's country of origin so that um, based on that they can say no uh, this company is compliant in its country of origin so we are issuing them with an exemption that uh, they don't need a tax clearance from our side since they are not registered here so they can qualify whether to open a bank account or qualify to get uh, or participate in a tender process so basically that's what a tax clearance certificate is it just shows that you are compliant when you applied and it doesn't necessarily mean that for the 12 months that it covers you are compliant that's why it can be revoked at any time by the commissioner general if they feel that you do not deserve that certificate or that um, now the circumstances um, that qualified you to be given that um, certificate or exemption have changed i hope that was insightful remember we are the text platform we are available across all your favorite podcast platforms spotify youtube apple podcast samsung podcast google podcast and any other podcast platform that you can think of have a good day